Welcome to the LaneChange.net DNS Manager tutorial on SPF records. SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework, and it is a simple way for domain owners to list the mail servers responsible for sending emails on their domain's behalf. Receiving servers then perform DNS lookups on this data to determine if a connecting server is indeed authorized to send email for that domain. To get started with SPF, let's first visit the OpenSPF.org website. We will use the SPF wizard to generate the SPF record we will use in the DNS manager for our domain. First, let's enter our sample domain name, lanechange.us, and click Go. The SPF wizard performs a few quick DNS lookups to retrieve information on how our domain is currently set up. We are now presented with a series of questions based on the retrieved information to confirm the setup of our mail servers. The first question asks if the A record for our domain sends email. In our case it does, so we click the Yes radio button. The next question asks if the hostname published in our domain's MX record also sends email for our domain. Again, in our case it does, so we answer Yes. The third question asks if we want to approve any host whose name ends in lanechange.us. The wizard does not recommend this, so just answer no here. If any other servers send email for your domain, you will want to review the next four boxes. Other mail servers might be web servers with scripts that send automatic emails, or third-party email marketing services that you may use to send out newsletters or e-zines. Since this is an advanced configuration topic, we won't cover it in this tutorial, but we recommend you review these options as they may impact the SPF record you use for your domain. The final question asks if the settings above describe all hosts that send email for your domain. During the SPF implementation phase for your domain, I'd recommend you say no here. After a few weeks of testing your domain's SPF record, you can then change this to yes. Based on all the answers provided to the SPF wizard, you will now see your new SPF record in the box at the bottom of the page. Select and copy this line of text without the quote marks so that we can paste it into the lanechange.net DNS manager. Now, let's go to the DNS manager and view our test domain, lanechange.us. Here you will see a very basic setup where our mail and web server are on the same server at the same IP address. We now want to create the SPF record for this domain. First, click on Add New Record. For the fully qualified domain name, we will enter lanechange.us, our example domain name. Record type is TXT for text record. At the server name field, we will paste the string of text we copied off the openspf.org wizard page. And click Submit. You will now see your newly created TXT record containing your domain's SPF information. Within 20 minutes, this data will go live on our network of distributed DNS servers and the world will know what servers are allowed to send email for your domain. This concludes our tutorial on SPF records. For more information on the lanechange.net DNS manager or any of our services, visit our website at www.lanechange.net. Thanks for watching.